Hello, hello, hello. Misa pa po, Doc Dan? Saan mang dako ng mundo kayo naroon? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, tuloy-tuloy tayo sa ating pong uh, educational uh, broadcast. Ang ating topic ay power of focus. Kaug na po ito sa ating pong cash flow advice and tips at nawa po sa kanitong paraan ang inyong lingkod ay nakakatulong makapagbibigay po ng mga kaalaman na magagamit po natin pagkakaroon natin ng cash flow. Yes! Pagkakaroon po natin ng cash flow. So, narito ako ngayon sa loob ng bahay. Medyo kulimlim sa labas. Yung pong nakaraang mga video natin, doon tayo sa labas. So, ngayon po ay nasa loob tayo ng bahay. Ano po? So, nasa ikalawang uh, chapter tayo ng power of focus. Nung pong nakaraan ay dinipine natin what is focus. Now, ang ating pong topic escaping the busy trap escaping the busy trap pero bago po natin na uh, puntahan yung topic natin ngayon ay nais ko pong muli ay batiin kayong lahat lalo na po kayo na masugid natin taga sa baybay ng ating pong programang ito at lahat po ng subscribers ano po salamat po sa Ano pong subscribe at patuloy na dumarami po tayo at kung kayo po ay nanonood ngayon at hindi pa kayo subscriber ng ating pong uh, YouTube channel na to mangyari po na paki-click lang po yung uh, subscribe button at yung pong bell na katabi niyan para po ma-notify kayo kapag meron po tayong uh, mga video na bago dito po sa ating uh, uh, channel na ito at Nitulit tayo Ito pong pakiramdam na to eh, no? Of being persistently overwhelmed can easily cause you to lose interest as well as motivation and bring on a state that leaves you feeling powerless, helpless, and extremely worn out. Dahil napapagod ka, no? Uh, yan. So parang darating yung pagkakataon na para kang wala ng lakas, wala na makatulong sa iyo at ikaw ay nang hinana so magiging daan yan para mawala ka doon sa natawag na focus so anong gagawin natin kapag ganyan po yung ating pakiramdam ano pag ganyan yung ating pakiramdam ano ang uh, gagawin natin so pag pinag-usapan natin yung burnout Bueno, ano, napagod ka na, ayaw mo na, no? Remember that is not mere exhaustion that you experience. It does not merely affect your performance but every aspect of life. Yan, po. Apektado na ang lahat. Apektado na kasi para ka na napagod na eh, nagsawa na. So apektado na yung lahat, parang ganoon. Kaya yung iba nawawala na sa focus, ano? nawawala na sila sa focus kapag gano'n ang uh, nangyari. Sa ganitong kalagayan, yung tatawag na burnout, this feeling does not go away but it sticks and around on a regular basis. Nandyan lang eh. In fact, staying in this forlorn condition will likely make you believe that there is no alternative or getting out of this mess na parang wala ka nang lalabasan na stuck ka na rito at wala nang wala nang pag-asa pang makawala ka pa so yan po yung pakiramdam ng marami kaya uh, hanggang sa talagang mawala sa focus no mawala sa focus so ang tanong natin ngayon diyan paano mo ka makakalabas escaping in the busy trap Ginawa mong lahat eh. Naging busy ka, nagpaka-busy-busy ka. Ngayon, wala. Walang nangyayari. At napapagod ka na. Yung nga sasabi natin kanina na burn out. So ang tanong, paano ka makakaalis dyan? Paano ka makakaalis sa alagayan mong yan? You turn your attention. Muli. You turn your attention to focus. No? Muli ay pansinin mo. Yung, yung what, why, and when formula will come 
in every hand when you feel overwhelmed sasagutin mo yung tanong ngayon what ano why bakit at when itong mga issue na to ang yung napakahalaga na pagtuunan mo ng focus figure out why it is so and when to deal with it once you have the answer to the simple question you can at least start to untangle the web of feeling overwhelmed okay sa so pag uh, nasagot mo yung mga tanong na yan what why and when now yung yung feeling brown out no itong it, ang problema sa pakiramdam na yan ay misan hindi basta ma-identify ng yung sarili. Kasi parang ganun pa rin eh. Tama, parang tama pa ang direksyon mo eh. So ang sinasabi ng mga expert dito, kapag ang ganito na ang pakiramdam, pwede kang uh, lumapit, maghanap ng mga kaibigan mo na pinagkakatiwalaan mo, pamilya mo, at uh, iba na talagang pinagkakatiwalaan mo para makahingi ka ng tulong sa kanila kung uh, ano pa ang gagawin mo sa kalagayan mong ganyan. Okay? So maraming ganun eh. Parang wala. Hanggang sa talagang mawala lang ang tiwala sa sarili. Pero huwag naman ganun, no? At yung maghahanap mo ng mga taong pagkakatulaan mo, ang tawag doon ay mga outside opinion. But makakatulong sa'yo at pwedeng makita mo yung example sa kanila, lalo nadaanan nila yung narara, nadaanan mo rin o yung kalagayan mo ngayon. So, ito yung ilang mga bagay na pwede natin gawin. Focus to undo the effects of the burnout. Once you have identified the trigger for your woe, be prepared to make some serious changes. Handa mong baguhin. No? Pag nakita mo na hindi, hindi naman ito eh. So, handa mong baguhin. At yung uh, paggawa nito, of course, will take a lot of uh, focus on your part as you will not only have to make serious changes but also stick with them for a while. And, and the bright side, the bright side to this entire episode is that once you start making the ship, you should also start to feel more motivated again. And a good place, <coughs> excuse me, a good place na magawa ito Excuse me. <coughs> na makawala ka dyan, no? meron na tayong, tayong tinatawag na good place. Na makawala ka dyan, ay, uh, of course, to undo. Sabi, nasabi ko na kanina, to undo the effects of burnout. No? To undo the effects of uh, burnout. The bright side to this entire episode is that once you start making the shift, you should also start to feel more motivated again. Ayan, no? So the good place to start is by focusing and working on some of the following. Ito, isa-isay natin, no? Cut off the source of the burnout. Ano ba yung pinagmumula ng yung pagkaka-burnout? Putulin mo yan. Putulin mo yan. Then try to be healthy. Then eat well. Kailan maging malusog tayo, malakas tayo. No? Kumain tayo ng maayos. Then matulog din ng maayos. Huwag kakalimutan yan, no? Paano ka uh, makakaalis, no? Ito yung uh, pagkaka-burnout. Alisin yung mga nakaka-burnout sa'yo. Maging malusog. Kumain ng maayos, of course, matulog ng uh, maayos din. Misan kulang lang tayo sa tulog, eh. Pag nakatulog tayo, meron na tayong panibang lakas na gawin natin yung ating talagang minanais na mangyari sa ating uh, uh, buhay no sa ating buhay wow bang kakalimutan apat lang yon na, sina na sinabi ko no apat lang cut off the source of the world not try to be healthy eat well and sleep uh, better yun lang So, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng panibagong sigla. 
nakakaroon ng panibagong sigla na gawin yung talagang gusto mong mangyari uh, sa iyo. Misan, ganun eh. Kasi kailangan lang natin ng break, ano? Para makawala tayo doon sa tinatawag nating business track. Uh, track na yan. Uh, at maraming ang nakapag... Uh, meron nagsabi sa akin, ako raw ay uh, malaya ang oras. Of course. Dahil po nung mula nung matutuhan natin ang digital nomad at yung... Uh, ito, paano tayo kumita through online, ay eh, talaga pang wala kang boss eh. Nasa sa'yo ang oras na paggamit mo. No? Hindi ka mukha nung empleyado ka, talagang yun. While you are in an internal state of being focused, things can go horribly wrong in the external world. Personal turbulence aside, the world keeps moving at its pace, continuing to bombard you with the daily green, moving a breakneck speed. Kaya napakaganda na kung matutuhan natin itong natawag natin na, na digital nomad. Ayan. Hindi ka nakatali. Ano? With uh, decision and information filling up of the time, it becomes really hard. So, they don't plan, sabi rito. It's difficult to stay focused without a plan to execute. Kailangan magplano tayo. And focus individual tend to work by whim rather than by strategy. They seem to get into things that they think might be important without really knowing why. Okay? If you if you fail to plan, you plan to pay. Ang sabi ng uh, isang uh, quote, you know? They lose track of time. Yung paggamit ng oras, napaka-importante ni Napaka-importante din po niyan. If you find yourself running short of time on most of your tasks, you're probably not focusing on good. Being unfocused also makes the individual struggle with keeping track of time. They run late, hugging late. <laughs> Closely tying in with poor time management is the susceptibility of always running late. Kasi unfocused yung tao eh. Not only to, to tend to mismanage time, but also exhibit unrealistic ideas about time. Ayan. So, closely tying in poor time management. Ganyan yan. Kapag uh, wala, wala ka sa focus. Kaya napakahalaga na nandun tayo sa uh, focus. Makapokus tayo. Alam natin, sure tayo doon sa ating ginagawa. Sabi nga, if, uh, kahit na mabagal, slowly, but Surely, mas maganda na yun. At least nakapokus tayo kahit tahan-tahan lang eh nakapokus ka ng time. May magagawa tayo. At kapag hindi ka nakapokus, you are uh, get easily distracted. People without focus are the easiest targets of distraction. Yes. That is to say that distraction are everywhere. If you are not focused, then every time you switch or shift from one activity to the next, there is a time. For unfocused folk, this void can easily be filled by sneaky distraction like getting on their cell phone, playing candy crush, and even a simple conversation is enough to take them far away from their assigned task. No? Merong ibang ginagawa. Madali silang uh, ma 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 lumingon sa iba kasi hindi nga sila focus. They are messy, unorganized, and possibly even plecky. Being out of focus leaves it mark on the organizational skill of any persons. And such persons tend to be surrounded by clutter, unable to ever find what they are looking for, and suffer gravely when it comes to productivity. Ayan. Kasi hindi nga nakapokus. Hindi nga nakapokus. No? Unfocused people have a hard time committing and appears as flaky when they continue to fail to follow through. This not only harms their efforts, but can also, uh, also other things, you know? They worry about everything. Nag-aalala sa lahat ng bagay. Kasi hindi alam kung alin doon ang kanilang puunahin. Hindi alam kung anong kailang gagawin. If you, if you find that you worry too much or get agitated over and over, makupo. 
hindi ka nakapokus. Sana po mayroon tayong natutunan sa maiksing uh, pag-aaral natin at bilang paglilingkod po sa inyo dito po sa ating YouTube channel, ano? YouTube channel na ito na nagbibigay po ng mga payo at mga tips pa paano tayo magkaroon ng cash flow. At ang pinaka number one po na ating pong nirecommendang cash flow ngayon 